Now, this is hard to believe, but UNESCO just denied the 4,000-year connection between the Jewish people and its holiest site, the Temple Mount. That's just as absurd as denying the connection between the Great Wall of China and China. Ladies and gentlemen, the UN, begun as a moral force, has become a moral farce. And what about the joke called the UN Human Rights Council, which each year condemns Israel more than all the countries of the world combined, given its history of hostility towards the UN, or towards Israel, rather. Does anyone really believe that Israel will let the UN determine our security and our vital national interests? We will not accept any attempt by the UN to dictate terms to Israel. The road to peace runs through Jerusalem and Ramallah, not through New York. Come to think of it, why not a Palestinian class action suit against Abraham for buying that plot of land in Hebron where the fathers and mothers of the Jewish people were buried 4,000 years ago? President, you're not laughing. It's as absurd as that to sue the British government for the Balfour Declaration? Is he kidding? And this is taken seriously here? With the nuclear constraints on Iran one year closer to being removed, let me be clear. Israel will not allow the terrorist regime in Iran to develop nuclear weapons. Not now, not in a decade, not ever.